Before we dive deeply into these upcoming Premiere Pro tutorials, I want to suggest that you set up your exercise files to make them readily accessible to you as you work on these tutorials. With our tutorials comes a working files folder with all the assets inside that folder. And I suggest you just take that working files folder and drag it to your desktop, whether you're working on a Mac or Windows, just put it here in your desktop where it's readily accessible. And inside this folder are a number of subfolders with all the assets that we've provided to you for the various tutorials, including video assets and audio and a few other odds and ends, including the projects, all the various Premiere Pro projects that you're going to work on throughout this process. There'll be projects for most of the tutorials that you'll open up and then work on them once you open up those projects. They're all here inside the Working Files folder and these subfolders here. In addition to bringing the Working Files folder to your desktop, I suggest you create another empty folder here. I called it my Premiere Pro Exercise Files. You can call it whatever you want. But as you work on projects here, you're going to save your projects or make some changes to projects. And you don't really want to save those projects back to the Working Files folder because you'll then change them and they may not look the way that you expect them to look the next time you open them up. And so it's best to save them to this folder here, which is just empty at this point, and will be empty probably throughout the process because as you work on something, you save it to this little empty folder, and then when we're done, you can just go back and delete it. It's just, you know, a sort of a temporary holding pattern, just a scratch folder, if you want to call it that. So again, bring your working files folder to the desktop and then create an empty folder here so that you've got some place to put your work as you're working on it, and then you can always delete it later. When you do this, I think it'll make it a whole lot easier. But all is not lost if you save a file back to the working files folder by mistake. You can always go back to the original Working Files folder we gave you with these tutorials and simply replace the new one with the old one and you're back to square one. So just set up your Working Files folder here in the desktop, make a new folder, and we're ready to go.